Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, first things first, I apologize for being quite late to this one. Uh, I was basically out all weekend celebrating Android 18's birthday and just got home about 15 minutes ago. By the way, if you guys want to say happy birthday to Android 18, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll make sure she sees it. So anyways, in today's video, we're going to be checking out the details and animations for the upcoming LR Golden Frieza on the JP side of the game to find out exactly how good this guy is going to be. So with that said, let's uh, jump right into it, starting with the animations first, which I have not seen at all yet. So hopefully they're solid and uh, I'm just going to pause my music here. And uh, enjoy, guys. So, we will see you next time. What is the other thing? 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 Okay, so those are the animations for the LR Golden Frieza. Uh, a couple things off the top. Number one, the OST is fire. Sounds amazing. And I really, really like the entrance animation here and the active skill animation. The super attacks to me are good. They're decent, but not really like anything special in my opinion. Once again, right? This is just how I feel about it. If you love it, that's great, but I feel like his super attacks are just okay. But the entrance animation looks really good, although, um, honestly, you know, I probably won't see it that much because I tend to turn off the entrance animations when you're like farming metals and stuff like that. It just takes too long to watch it every single time, right? But it looks great, and the active skill looks really, really good as well. So that's, that's awesome. And uh, as a whole, if I were to give it a rating, it's like a like a solid 8 out of 10, you know, like including the super attacks and the uh, entrance animation, all that stuff, right? So a uh, good start there. Now let's pop over to, as you might have guessed, the official page, the official Twitter page of the homie Goresh, who has provided us with translations for the Golden Frieza. Big shout out to Goresh, as always, for that. And uh, starting with the leader skill here, we have Resurrected Warriors or Planetary Destruction. Uh, category allies key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 150%. I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit higher. I just feel like we're past the 150% lead era, you know, but um, it's still a fine leader skill. It's just not something that you would really use that much because you have much better options like 170% leads and there's, you know, like one or 200% leads now at this point, right? So. Uh, 170 would have been nice, but 150 is still okay. Uh, we have the entrance animation, super attacks, 12 key, raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. And then the 18 key super, uh, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. 
passive. Plays entrance animation once upon first attacking turn, and reduces damage received by 90%. 90%! And at the start of every turn, reduces damage reduction by 10%, max of minus 60%. So essentially, the way to see this is that on the first turn that he appears, he'll have 90% damage reduction. The last time we saw a unit with that much damage reduction was the other AGL Golden Frieza, right? The EZA one. But that guy does no damage. This guy is going to be doing a lot of damage on top of having 90% damage reduction on first appearance. And of course, as you can see, he does start losing that uh, after every turn that the event goes on for. And after six turns, he will be down to 30% damage reduction for the rest of the fight, which is still good. 30% damage reduction is nothing to scoff at, but you're looking at, you know, 90% and then 80% the next turn, uh, 70%, 60%. Of course, on the turns that he's not on the rotation, he's still losing 10% uh, damage reduction. So essentially, yeah, after six turns, you're going to be having, or he's going to have 30% damage reduction, which is still solid. But for the first couple of turns, he's going to be stupid tank. Like, he's going to be doing or taking no damage at all for the first at least like two to three appearances, right? And then from there, we have uh, key plus five and attack and defense plus 100% gains an additional attack and defense plus 100% um, and performs an additional super attack when HP is 50% or above and then gains an additional key plus two and defense plus 50% for the rest of the battle once five super attacks have been launched and gains an additional key plus two and attack plus 50 percent for the rest of the battle once five or more attacks have been received and from there we have the active skill which uh, which is earthbreaker condition able to be used once three or more turns have elapsed in battle and hp is 50 percent or below once only so um, and not too bad, of course, HP being below 50% can be hard to achieve sometimes, but if you're talking about like a harder event like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, um, you'll see it more often than some of the easier events, right? So like, it makes sense. And then the effect is massively raises attack temporarily and causes mega cost of damage to all enemies, which is going to be amazing for, once again, Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, or events that have multiple enemies like that. Links are Prodigies, Strongest Clan in Space, Universe's Most Malevolent, Super God Combat, Resurrection F, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power, and categories are Resurrected Warriors, Planetary Destruction, Movie Bosses, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Terrifying Conquerors, Target Goku, Revenge, Inhuman Deeds, Gifted Warriors, Mastered Evolution, Sworn Enemies, and Battle of Fate. A lot of categories, a lot of different teams this guy can fit on for sure, and uh, there you have it, that is the Golden Frieza. So going back to this passive here, um, yeah, he's going to be amazing for any events that are like sh me short to medium, I would say, length events where, you know, you're not going to be there for more than maybe five or six turns. He's going to be getting tons of damage reduction. He's going to be getting also a lot of attack and defense, especially with the double supers. He's going to be doing a lot of damage on top of being just stupidly, stupidly tanky. And uh, of course... With the active skill, he's basically going to be clearing the entire enemy field. Um, if you're able to pop this, you know, after a couple of turns. And uh, I, I think this guy might be like the best, honestly, like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road unit in the game right now. Um, even over a unit like, you know, Fizz LR Cell or SDR LR Broly because of just like how stupidly tanky he's going to be, right? Like the other guys. They do a lot of damage, the attack all is great, but they can also take a lot of damage, they can also get you killed, right? But this guy is not gonna get you killed, like, ever. You know, like, he's just gonna be so ridiculously tanky that, like, he can take, like, five supers and be fine, right? So, um, I think this is an amazing unit. <laughs> I really do. He's really, really strong offensively, defensively. Um, not really a lot of weaknesses. In longer events, you know, he will be less tanky but still getting 30 percent damage reduction still getting this additional 50 percent defense um after five supers have been launched and since he gets the additional guaranteed super that's going to be pretty easy to get in longer events so he's still going to have quite a bit of defense with the damage reduction um still going to be doing tons of damage 
So you can't really say he's not going to be good for long events either, right? So um, long story short, you know, as a, a wrap up to all this, this guy's amazing. <laughs> this 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 golden Frieza is uh, absolutely amazing. I am pretty stoked for him. Um, I think he's going to be like a top 10, top 5 unit in the game easily. Uh, I'll have to see him in action for sure to, to know for sure, but on paper right now, he is a top, top tier unit. No question about that. So uh, that's all I got to say about it, man. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, how you guys feel about it, how you guys feel about the animations and all that good stuff. Once again, a big shout out to Goresh for uh, providing us with the translations, as he always does. And uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.